So this here is going to be a video on how to paint the blue scribes. So we kit bash this kit out of the so the burning chariot of Zeech, and um, yeah, we built it with some blue horrors and the disc that was in the kit and some of the flames that are were underneath. We turned it all into um, some kit bash blue scribes. I will leave a link in the channel description on how we uh, kit bash this. But aside from that, um, if you like the way this looks or if you're curious about any part of this here, stay tuned and we'll show you exactly how we painted this up from the original gray model. So this here is going to be a video on how to paint the uh, blue scribes. So this is a kit bashed version. We have a kit bash video on how to create this, which I'll link uh, inside the video here as well as in the comments below. And in any case, uh, we're going to paint this guy up right now. So what you're looking at here is basically just the uh, model and then we base coated it with some Wraith Bone Spray. So that gave us this color we have here. Now we, um, we could have used uh, Corax White, we just we didn't have any at the moment. So Wraith Bone is what we used. So the first thing I want to point out about this model is that the disc isn't actually attached um, because it would be very difficult to get underneath here especially in this area here with these two attached and now it's very easy to paint both parts. We're going to do the disc and then we're going to glue them together before we work on the rest of it. So we'll start with the flames right now. So the first thing we're going to do to paint the flames is we're going to use a base coat of the technical paint Nicolith Oxide. We're going to just cover this completely with that. Um, getting a good base coverage there now. So I'm just going to give this a good coverage here. We're going to use it directly out of the pot. We're going to get a good base coverage down of it over the top of the wraith bone. So not perfectly white undercoat, but that's fine because this we want a nice um, ghastly ethereal look so we're gonna do the whole smoke with this and we'll meet back here in a few minutes when it's done so this is our uh, flames and smoke now that we finished with the oxide base coat so we're gonna leave that dry now that our oxide is dry we're gonna add a shade to this so we're gonna take a little bit of night haunt gloom and we're gonna water that down with medium of which we did to about eh, three to one uh, medium to um, two shade. So what we've got here is the resulting mixture, which is quite watered down. So we're going to put that lightly all over the clouds, filling in the gap there. So that'll shrink into the areas we want and add another little bit of depth. So we'll do the rest of the model now. We'll be back here in a little bit. So now that that is, shade is dry, what we're gonna do here is take a highlight layer of Luthalan Gray. And what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna dry brush that over everything that we had did with the Night Haunt Gloom. So with just a light dry brush there, we're just going to lighten that all back up, just like so. And depending on how light you want to make it, you can make it a heavy dry brush or a light dry brush. It is a very light color, so it will dominate if you go too heavy. But as you can see here, there's a distinct difference between this part and that part. So we're going to do the whole rest of this flame, and then we'll meet back here again for the next step. So now that the Eutherian Gray is dry, what we're going to do is one last edge highlight layer of White Scar. Um, you can also do this as a very, very, very light dry brush, which is probably what we're going to do. Let's make sure that's completely gone. And then we'll start adding the white scar to just some of the high points. So 
was to brighten some areas up a little bit more than others. So we'll keep doing that and we'll be back here in a few minutes to do uh, another part. We're going to move over to the disc. So the disc was going to get a base coat of lead belcher, which is a base paint. So we're going to do that all over the disc. We'll leave some of the trim bare because we are going to put that gold. But for the most part, the disc underside and top is all going to go lead belcher, as well as several of these stands coming out, holding up books and things like that. So we'll do that now. So basically we're just going to do that, putting a nice base coat down, trying not to get the little blue scribe horrors, but getting the whole disc surface top and bottom. So we'll finish that up while the smoke is drying and we'll be back here in a few minutes. Now that we got the metal base done, what we're going to do now is base coat the um, little blue horrors here that we're, we're um, um, using as the blue scribes. So they're going to get a base coat of Thousand Suns Blue. So we will just do that now and we'll base coat the, both of the little creatures here. So we'll take a little bit of that blue. And we'll just base coat both of the blue scribes with it, just like so, doing the entire little model's units, and we'll meet back when they're both done. So now that the uh, Thousand Suns Blue on the Blue Scribes is finished. What we're going to do is add a shade to the model of the, what's painted so far. So we're going to take a little bit of Drakenhof Nightshade and we are going to shade both the horrors as well as all the metal that you see here. And we're just going to add some shade on them just like so. We avoided the teeth when we painted them but if it happens to go on there it's not the end of the world because that all is going to be painted later. The key is to get it in all the nooks and crannies there. So we're going to do the horrors. We're also going to do all of the uh, metal, metallic here that we did on the floor. That'll give it a blue tinge as well. We'll do that now. And then we'll meet back here when it's all done and dry. Now that the shade is done, what we're going to do now is add our first highlight layer to the blue scribes. So what we're going to do with that is we're going to take a little bit of Temple Guard Blue and we're going to give that a very medium dry brush. Just kind of going and lightening them all up here, just like so. Just like that, as you can see there. So we're going to do both of the little guys, and then we'll meet back here once they're lightened up. So now that we've finished with the Temple Guard Blue, we've really lit up the uh, little blue scribes nicely. What we're going to do now is highlight one more uh, layer over the top of that. We're going to use some aptly named Blue Horror, and we're going to dry brush that. Right over the top, but because this is so light, well, you can use a little bit of it there. So this is a very, very dry brush. Just hitting the highlights like that. So we're gonna keep going with this, finish the two models, and be back here in a few minutes. And that we're finished with the blue, we're gonna come back and highlight the metallic underneath. So with that, we're going to take a dry brush of Iron Breaker and we're just going to dry brush that right over the lead belcher and the blue shade. So just like so, we're just going to light that right back up. Just like that. So we'll do that for the whole model and we'll be back here in a few minutes once we've got that finished. Now that our metallics are finished, what we're going to do is start doing the trim on the metal. So all of these little nubs that are here, all these little designs, 
We're going to make them gold, and we're going to start that with some Balthazar gold as our base. We're just going to come through and paint those up like that. So we'll do the rest of those and we'll meet back here in a few minutes. So we've now reunited the disc with the flame base. Uh, just because handling the model has been getting tricky and I've been rubbing off some of the color as you can see right here at the top of the hand. Every time I pick it up, it uh, the color comes off. So now we've got it back on its holder and we'll go from there. So the next step we're going to do now that we've got our models together is to do the backs of all of these books. So we'll make them kind of all the same. Uh, we're going to put a base of corn red on them uh, just to have a nice reddish book. Uh, and then we'll shade it from there and highlight and so forth. So we'll do that now. Use a detail brush if we can. And we'll just start painting on these books here. Now I'll come back and do the trim and everything with gold afterwards and clean it up if we make a mess, but still try to be as neat as we can. So we'll do these books and all the other ones and we'll meet back here in a few minutes. These are our books now that the Chaos um, Corn Red is finished on them. And as you can see, we've done every one of them there with this nice red. So our next step is going to be to shade that and we're going to shade that darker than it is. So we're going to shade that with some Agrax Earthshade, just to bring out some more details there. We'll just spread some on that book, just like so. Move on to the next book, and spread some on there as well. So now that our shade is dry, we're going to put a highlight layer over that book. And what we're going to do is put a little bit of Cadian Flesh Tone down. Um, it's very, very bright, so we're going to put a very, very light layer of it. Pretty much like that. We're going to do that for all the other books. This book here also has some fleshy bits hanging underneath. We'll put some Cadian flesh stone there as well. Just like that. And we'll take care of that for now. now we're going to take a little bit of that Balthazar gold again and with our detailed brush we're going to do all of the trim on these books. like so. So what we're going to do now that we have that finished is we're going to take a little bit of Screamer Pink. We're going to do the two tongues on the little pink horror scribes as well as this this holder here. It, uh, it fans out um, and there's a metal pole that goes into it. Uh, so I think I'm going to do that in the pink as well. 
So we'll do those now. So now that we're finished with our Screamer Pink, we're going to add a highlight layer to that of Pink Horror. So we're going to dry brush that right on there as well. Just like so. So now that that's done, it's time to deal with the books themselves, the pages. We're going to put a base of Rackarth Flesh on all of the paper. Just like so. So we'll keep doing that. Cleaning up all the mess of the splatter and such that we got on these papers as we were going. And once we're finished that, we'll meet back here again. So now that our Rackarth Flesh books are finished, we're going to shade them. And we're going to shade the, all of the books with Sarah from Sepia. Um, and uh, hope to get some of the detail on the pages and edges back. Take a little bit of that. Just go along the pages there like so. Just like so. Brushing some of that into the into the crease at the center of the book. Just like that. So we're going to do all the other books and meet back here when we're finished. So for our next color, what we're going to do is go over the books again now that the sh uh, shade is dry as well as the scrolls and we're going to do all of that with some screaming skull as well while we're at it we're going to get the teeth on all of the blue horror slash blue scribes okay so we'll do all of that right now with the finest detail brush we have Just like that. So we'll keep doing these teeth as well as the papers in the books. We'll be back here in a few moments. We finish with the teeth as well as the book pages, the scroll pages, the other teeth back here. We also did the teeth on the back of the book here as well as the ones on the stand. So we finished all of that. So our next step is going to be to do the eyes on the models. So we're going to take a little bit of Uriel Yellow and that fine detail brush again. We're just going to lightly hit the eye right here. Just like so. So we'll do the other ones. We'll meet back here in a few minutes. Now that we finish the eyes, we're going to hit these feathers here as well as the ones on the stands over here. And what we're going to do with those is a base layer of Cabalite Green, followed by a dry brush of Sybarite Green. So we'll do both of those now and we'll be right back here in a moment. Now that our feathers are finished, we got one more thing to do, and it's the center of all of these eyes. There's one on the bottom, a couple of them around, a few of them there, one of them in the pen that I put here. So all of those eyes are going to get a center of... Uh, Lothran blue. Uh, there's some on all the spikes here as well. Some larger ones over here. So these Lothran blue with the detail brush. Just 
just like so. So we're gonna do those all over the model and then we should be finished. So we'll probably base it as well. Uh, we'll paint the base black and then put sand on it and we'll meet back here. So this is our finished model now that we've uh, clear coated and flocked the base with some sand. So we're pretty happy with the way it turned out. If you like this um, video and if you found this helpful, if yours turned out as good as this, please feel free to leave a like or leave a comment or uh, subscribe to the channel. And aside from that, I'm glad you stayed in as long as you did. If you like videos like this, please feel free to leave a like and uh, subscribe to the channel. And we'll show you the next videos we do.